Hey everyone, welcome back to another 2022 LEGO Star Wars review. Today we are taking a look at the second of three helmets coming on March 1st. This is the Luke Skywalker's Red 5 helmet. This is set number 75327. Comes with 675 pieces. Is recommended for ages 18 and up and retails for $59.99 on March 1st. It also is available for pre-order on LEGO Shop at Home. I do want to give a huge thanks to LEGO for sending over an early review copy. Of course, all opinions will be my own in today's video. So when the rumors hit last year about a Luke Skywalker Red 5 helmet from the iconic X-Wing and the Death Star Trench run, I was most excited for this one in terms of rumors. Again, I was very, very excited uh, to see what this looks like. And to be honest, it looks pretty good. There are only a couple of minor gripes that I have with the set that are maybe honestly not even fixable. So we're going to go ahead, of course, and discuss that in today's video. But first, let's talk a little bit about the beautiful box art. On the front here, we have the 18 plus iconic sleek black background that we've been seeing from Lego for the past couple of years now. Of course, you have the helmet, all the information and logos. On the very back of the helmet here, you do have images of Luke Skywalker and the Red 5 helmet, both from movies as well as the dimensions. It stands at over seven and a half inches tall, which is only half an inch taller uh, than the previous helmet, the Mandalorian one, which is definitely something worth noting. So when you think of Star Wars iconicness and things that deserve a helmet, I definitely think the Luke Skywalker Red 5 is up there and I was super excited to get it, but let's go ahead and jump on it. So of course you got the instruction manual within the first page here. You have some cool information about the Red 5 helmet and also some information about the Lego build, which is pretty standard throughout all the helmet building collections. It sort of gets you in the mood to build the set, which is super fun. Now in terms of the actual build itself, it probably took around an hour it was a little bit of a heftier build compared to the Mandalorian helmet that we reviewed previously here on the channel. There are more pieces. It was a little more intensive with techniques and some really cool ones that were used, which we're going to talk about in today's video. But it was a phenomenal build. I had a great time building it, so I can't say anything bad about that. So now that's out of the way, let's talk actually about the helmet here. Now, I do want to start off with some of the great things I love about the helmet, and that includes my favorite brand new printed uh, 4x4 circle pieces. These are actually Rebel insignias, Rebel logos that are printed on these giant 4x4 dishes, which is absolutely amazing. I can already see a lot of people who either build custom mocks or even making customizations off of sets. They're definitely going to find a use for those. So I was super happy to have that printed. However, everything else that you see, excluding the red pieces going down the center of Luke's helmet, are stickers, which again, is a little disappointing. It would have probably hiked up the price, so I'm perfectly okay with the printed pieces being the most important for me. Now, speaking of that red stripe, there's a red stripe that runs from the top of the visor all the way to the back of Luke's helmet, which looks amazing. These are all printed uh, curved slopes, which is a nice touch, and it goes right down the center of Luke's helmet. Now, on either side, there are these large yellow uh, pneumatic hoses or flex tubes, as they're more commonly known as. They're basically hooking them through these little one-by-one -one holes on either side, and it gives a really nice, not only a texture, but a nice color change other than white and red than what this helmet primarily consists of and that detail looks absolutely fantastic. Now we do have some larger pieces on the side here making up the sides of the helmet which does look super cool. Again these are all stickers though which really isn't too bad as long as you line everything up correctly. Actually quick correction the large dish here uh, that's right here on the side that is actually a printed piece. The 2x2 two two tile on top is a sticker but the bottom dish is printed with all the black lines so I guess that is also an added bonus as well. Now as you make your way down towards the bottom of the helmet of course you have the stand and a printed uh, 4 by 6 modified plate that says Lego Star Wars, Luke Skywalker Red 5, which looks absolutely fantastic. But let's go ahead and dive on into the inside of this helmet. And this is sort of where things get funky with the helmet itself, and I do want to talk a little bit about that. So right off the bat, one of the things that look a little bit funky to me are the sort of translucent orange visor piece. Now, this is something that's incredibly hard to recreate in Lego, especially when you're only trying to use one or two different pieces. But if you look here, on the back of the set, um, I feel like the orange visor is very different than what we actually got in the set, right? It looks like it sort of goes straight across. There's no big dip when it comes to the nose. And unfortunately, that's sort of how it looks like here. They're using these sort of quarter pieces that have this very cylindrical and cut off shape. So it looks like there's a clear divide right where the nose would be. Now, unfortunately, that's not exactly how it looks in the movie, but I'm not really going to fault Lego for this. I'm not too sure what they could have done that would have still kept the price of the set around 60 bucks. So I'm going to kind of 
let them off with that one. But I love the interior details of it. You have the cushion padding on the side for the ears, which is a really nice touch. It uses dark bluish gray, which is a nice color change, as opposed to all the white and bright colors on the helmet. You, of course, also have the little microphone that Luke uses to communicate to the rest of the Rebel troopers and the rest of the Rebel army and fleet, which is a nice touch. It is hooked on a hinge piece, so you can flip it forward and back, which is a nice touch. And then, of course, you do have the chin strap, which is a great addition. I think that actually came together really, really well. It uses black pieces to connect it to the actual helmet and then has some white pieces uh, to represent the actual chin strap, which is super, super nice. Now, I think for the most part, Lego knocked it out of the park. Again, the only thing that's super funky to me is that translucent orange sort of visor piece, but everything else I think looks pretty cool. I don't really mind the studs. I think a lot of people are maybe a little bit excessive with their criticisms of Lego helmets having lots of studs because realistically, as long as you want to keep the price point where it is, you're not going to be able to fix it. And for me, I don't think it's a big deal. I think it actually looks pretty cool, but all the other details, the new printed pieces, the yellow pneumatic hoses, the flex tubes that go on the helmet, the red stripe going back, all the detail in the front of it and the side of it. I think it's an amazing model and I'm happy to have it. I would absolutely buy it. So guys, thank you for watching today's video. I hope you all enjoyed. Drop a like. We do have one more helmet review coming up. So make sure you stay tuned for that. Make sure you subscribe with the bell icon on. Thank you for watching my review of the Luke Skywalker Red 5. Once again, $59.99 here in the US. March 1st, it is currently available for pre-order on Lego Shop at Home. Let me know down below in the comments if this is something you're going to be picking up and I'll see you later. Take it easy. Peace.